Yeah, that's right. This all stems at anger at Langford for the bipartisan border bill and that now viral moment of the senator agreeing with President Biden during last week's State of the Union address. Oklahoma GOP chairman Ken Warner explaining the nearly unanimous vote from the county's members to censure U.S. Senator James Langford during their convention this weekend. It's all about the border bill, at least that's what I think. They're not happy about the way he's worked with the both, both sides of the aisle. Warner is talking about the massive border security and foreign aid deal, which Langford was the lead GOP negotiator on. During his State of the Union address on Thursday, President Biden called out Republicans for refusing to take up the bipartisan bill after former President Donald Trump urged them not to pass it. And if my predecessor is watching, instead of paying politics and pressuring members of Congress to block the bill, join me in telling the Congress to pass it. We can do it together. And as the president touted some of what that bill would have accomplished, Langford was seeing mouthing, that's true, and shaking his head. I think some of it may be carry over from the Biden speech the other night when he was shaking his head, when Mr. Langford was shaking his head yes with the Democrats. Langford speaking to CNN about that now viral moment. I was listening to the president, obviously, as he was walking through, and I could hear some of my colleagues around me uh, saying none of that's true. And I was actually listening to the president and said, no, that part actually is true. It would have hired all those additional agents. It would have expedited the process. It would have also changed the asylum standard uh, so we can go through much faster. The senator also calling out Biden for his border response. The problem is the president also left out some of the things that he could do right now. Oklahoma County's GOP still not happy. They're trying to hold him accountable. And the county chairman says with this vote to censure, it will be sent to the state GOP for consideration at their statewide convention that's going to be held in May. Reporting live, Zach Rael, KOCO 5 News.